Yo, 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 we yo. back once again for the True Hip Hop Podcast, episode 25. We in the building once again, it's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine, back for episode 25. Five. What up, my G? Oh, you know, we making it better. Making it yeah. better every single day, man. But before we dive into this hot content, make sure y'all subscribe right, right now. now. It helps us out tremendously in the algorithm. Comment on the subject, on the video, like, share, like, save it. Share. And make sure y'all hit uh. that all notifications bell. Bing! <laughs> all right, on to hip hop news, man. Yesterday, it revealed WAC 100 was in the clubhouse and he's calling Jim Jones a rat. Oh, Him and 6ix9ine talking a bunch of trash on the phone and saying Jim Jones done got caught with guns in Atlanta and Virginia and nothing has been done about it. They trying to claim allegedly that he's an informant for the FBI because nothing has They're happened reporting. to him. But when we listened to WAC 100, it sounded like he was the one Dry trying to snitch. snitching. You know, he putting up Yo, he they put played the uh wiretap of Jim Jones talking to the dog from prison saying that 6ix9ine needed to be violated, you know, and so he's saying, you know, that's a federal crime, you know, putting a threat on somebody. Right. That's conspiracy. Now you up here giving the DA and the prosecutor ammo. Ammo to look into this gun yeah. case charge once again. I don't know what became of I remember when they caught him in Atlanta. You know, I think it was him and Santana, man. They was in the car and they got locked up. And they kept Santana for a few days and uh, Jim Jones got bailed right out. Like, he got right out, you know, and nothing ever has been heard about this case, anything, you know. That's crazy, but he dry snitching. WAC 100. Yeah, WAC 100 is dry snitching. Dude, I don't care, but you don't have to be explicit on what's going on in every case that's following this dude. <laughs> you requesting papers. And paperwork. Oh, oh, come and on. Bringing like, mad dude. attention, mad heat to the guy, you know. For what? He dry snitching, and then you backing up a snitch. And you backing up a snitch. That's what I'm bugging out about. It's like, how can you back up a snitch? Why we should take your word? <laughs> you Even know? so, though, he kept he kept his street gutter. We ain't under, we ain't care. I mean, hell. But there is not a good look to be hanging with snitches. Like Man. me and Taylor all talked about, snitches get stitches, and this is not cool. And you know, and you're the one dry snitching on top of on top hanging of. with a snitch. Now this looks really bad on you. You know, now I see what 21 Savage and all them were saying about you, man. You know, you might be flip floppy a little bit. Flip floppy? <laughs> that dude on the whole flop. He ain't <laughs> he flip was back LeBron yet. James flop. Man, I'm a complete <laughs> flop. Oh, this oh. dude is horrible. Dude, you snitching. <laughs> you you dry snitching on here on this man. Let him cause you. So uh, six nine said uh, Jim Jones is one of the leaders of the Treyway gang. You know, and um, snitching. And Jay, and yes, he was snitching because he said this yesterday. He said Jim Jones was one of the leaders. Snitching. And everybody went to jail except him. Snitching. <laughs> oh, he got the, the wiretap to say that I need to be violated. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, come on, dude. Come on, right. man. Why you dry snitching though? That yeah. that I mean, it's like, is that really what's going on, y'all? Yeah, men, hip hop, men wearing fucking dresses. Uh, people dry snitches, snitches getting uh, glorified, people yeah. stealing, people I'm rats. surprised, I'm surprised this is like, he's this still is around. Real part of I'm so time. surprised this yellowhead skittle rainbow man. dude is still around after coming out and he's still up to his annex, man. True. Man, we done lost Pop Smoke, all these good King Von, all these good rappers, but you're still around. <laughs> hey, you're still around. Hey, I guess them snitches got a ticket though. Man, or the or the people that's in that gang life ain't really about that game. I don't even know how he survived prison. Man, for that year. Oh, oh, he had protection. I don't care. They can get I there. See. Yeah, they got I don't to, care. They got to the the one boy who, uh, <laughs> that pedal fire. They, they, they if they want you. I don't care where you at in that prison. They gonna get you. They gonna get you. Yeah. They can get you. So I don't wonder details. what's up with that. He paying. He gotta be paying, man. He got of course he be paying, but how much? I mean, you know, he got yeah. the little endorsement when he first came out. But I mean, that money's soon to run out. It's not like he can produce another album. Well, he is. He's yeah. still doing shows. Yeah. He's still getting paid. 
That's what I'm saying. That's how he can pay for security and backing. I, but I bet you he's paying well Snitching, 100 some money so he can go to L.A. He giving him some money because why would he flip flop and go with a rat? He got to be giving him some millions, you know? Oh, he can come out him. here now. He's he protecting him. Because saying, remember he told that he told them that they should have got Pop Smoke out of that room, out yeah. of the house because of a fact. He said he, he called Pop Smoke and told him. To let him know when his location, and he said this time he pop smoke didn't call him, and something happened. Yeah, you know? but then at that point though, before then, they, he said four days before then, he told pop smoke told them to get pop smoke them out of that room and put him at the hotel. Yeah, he told him he told him himself to go to the hotel. Yeah, he did tell him that, but um, he let that go down. But I think he's protecting six nine man. He is protecting him. He's getting paid for that man. Yeah. You know? Comment below, y'all. Let us know think? about 6 9 Wack 100 and Jim Jones situation. Do you believe what Wack 100 is sticking up for this rat is good or uh, not? Wow. Because I'm getting <laughs> rats. Man, that rat going down. <laughs> All right, y'all. On the other hip hop news, man. Brazil in the Source magazine, they had a contest. Who, if you have one producer to pick, Mm. To make your album. Make your album. Now the artist better listen to this. <laughs> who would it be? The RZA from the East Coast or Dr. Dre from the West Coast? And RZA has done the Wu-Tang, you know, Jizza, Mob Deep, Big Pun. Big Pun. Oh, uh, Method Man. And then you got Dr. Dre, you know, with Snoop Dogg, Exhibit, Nate Dogg, 50, Eminem. You know, one producer with one no producer. budget. Wolf, man, who would it be, man? Who you gonna give that bread to? I'm giving it to Dr. Fucking Dre. Dre my Day. Friends. I'm giving it to Dre. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because of versatility. I can pretty much do all different sorts of things with that. I haven't really heard RZA on no R&B tracks. It depends on what type. It has to depend on what he year got- we talking. If we talking about when they both was hot. Let's say 95. They both had Man, it game. doesn't matter. It do matter. It matters big time. Because we... It, not today. Dre if we both came out in 95... Dre had more know, and, versatility. And the sound that I wanted, man... I might would go to the resident Because I liked it. That whole mob deep sound. I would want that type of sound. You know? But he won, it was, Alchemist was producing a lot of the sounds that we liked. It. <laughs> yeah, liked a lot of the tracks that we liked Alchemist but producing. But the Eye for an so, Eye track was dope. That's, that was a dope track, but he didn't produce more than a couple songs. Couple songs. You talking about well, when, when we talking about Dre though? Dre produced whole albums. Yeah, like this Doggy Style. Doggy album. Style, Fifty Cent album. Yeah, the- M album. You know, Dre had his hands so really. Dre got and a little more ver- versatility. A lot of ver- more versatility. And more different. He used samples too a lot. He used a lot of samples. But, but Reza used it's all more, samples. <laughs> and, all it's, samples. and he always got that Wu Tang, you know, yeah, shot got, in, yeah. kind of foolish. You put me in that premiere, drums. in that, uh, put me in that premiere mind, and him and, uh, yeah, but. Yeah. So you going with, uh, Dr. Dr. Dre, Dre all day. All day. Yeah, that's and West Coast because he can he can bring it from the East and the West as well. Yeah, you know, so he was doing music with Fifty Cent over here in the East, and Eminem in the Midwest, yeah. and Exhibit and Snoop over in the West Coast. Yeah, so with that versatility already puts me in a mindset. And, he, and he always puts the right tracks with the artist. He know how to. You know how to market. He, yeah. he perfects his craft. Like right. you don't sound right on this, man. I'm gonna put this beat with this rap, you know, and we gonna get it from there. It's Dre, ain't nobody gonna listen. If he give you advice on a track, he gonna listen to it. It's Dre. You like, oh man, it's Dre. Is it Dre? Is it Dre? And that that Nate Dogg shit, how he put Nate Dogg's and all them hooks at the right places. Yeah. That was dope. That was dope, man. Created Nate Dogg. Yeah, created a whole style. All he had to do was hooks, but Nate Dogg, get on it. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Ricky Raiders. Yeah. Nate Dogg was the truth on them the hooks, man. man. And Dr. True. Drake polished them. And One of the best hook G makers in, ever. Yeah. Who makes it better? Who you know made a better hook? Makes better hooks. Nobody. Man. Nobody. You got to put him as the number one king no, of he, he hook making. Definitely the king, king of hook making. Nate Dogg. Shout Nate out to Dog. Nate Dogg. Shout Rest out to R.I.P. Peace. Man. You know. Word, we love that music though. That was the one cat over that brought it over to the east. 
And the West. Drop, he, he had hooks with everybody. everybody. Fabulous, all the West Coast cats, you know. I won't deny yeah, it. I'm, I'm a straight a rider. rider. <laughs> <laughs> and he made, and he gave him flavor. Yeah. Because you remember, uh, that's when, uh, what was her name? Mo? Little Mo? Little Mo was uh, singing on the other hook. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Big yeah. Dog, it was the official uh, hook master. R.I.P. R.I.P. Nate Dog. We need another artist like that, though, a hook master. They don't mean right hooks no more. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's why a lot of these rappers ain't selling because they don't know how to make a hook. They don't know how to. And that's another thing, my, y'all. Y'all gotta learn memorable. how to make a hook. Memorable <laughs> songs, a catchy <laughs> hook. If y'all, especially today's era, if y'all doing this type of hip hop beats, Man. you know, make that hook make stand that out. Hook. Even that little Cardi B is going up and up. And up. It's a simple hook. Like they, you they, can't just make see, hooks wasn't all. like that. It was an eight bar cadence, you know, yeah. back in the day. I now mean, it's a chant. It ain't even a hook saying up, up, or straighten, and straighten, and straighten. That's not a hook to me. That's a chant. That's a chant. Yeah. yeah it's hooks. Day. You had at least four they, they bars. Now these hook. artists don't make hooks anymore. Cause they can't. They don't know how to write. <laughs> they don't know how to write. That's all plain and simple. But all right, y'all, on the Hip Hop News, comment below. Let us know what y'all think about the situation. What y'all Subscribe think. and like, because it's official. But, um, oh, yeah, we got one more subject, man. Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. You know, he ran up into, um, he ran into Biggie Smalls back in the day. Rest in peace, Big. All right, Big, B-I-G. Um, he said Big became his favorite rapper. When he heard the verse, uh, I'm slamming niggas like Shaquille, shit is real. When it's time yeah. to eat a meal, I'll I rob a seal. <laughs> Cause Give mom dukes ain't giving me shit. Before the bread of butter, I'll leave niggas, niggas in the gutter. gutter. <laughs> Word the mother, mother. I'm dangerous. <laughs> you know, so he heard that. And, um, you know, he was like, man, Big, I need you on a song. And Big went down when he was in Orlando, went to one of his games. And it's like, damn, man, this nigga can really play. He liked the shack, and when they kicked it, he was like, man, can you come record the song for me? And Big was like, for sure. For sure. So he went to uh, Shaq's mansion, you know. Shaq had the label studio. going good, he though. He had the studio, and he said Biggie recorded his verse. It's called um, You Can't Stop the Rain. Rain. You know, and he recorded his verse in five minutes. Man. Five minutes. And he was like, he never seen anything like that, man. Like I said, man, Biggie Smalls is my number one rapper of all time. That's number my one. personal favorite. You number know, one, B.I.G. The, the cadence. Man, you know, everything. everything the, the delivery. Shows, the delivery. Like, all that. It's like he just talking to yeah. the storytelling, you know. And he, he can do it for the, the best, ladies, man. the fellas, the streets. He was well-rounded. <laughs> You the know? family. Yeah. You know, Sky's the Limit was more a family joint. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Very versatile. It could have. You know what I'm saying? Make any type of song, man. Man, B.I.G. You know? like R.I.P. Definitely my favorite artist. Definitely man. my number one. He ain't, I don't yeah. care what. Hey, <laughs> he ain't nobody taking those spots, yo. Right. Ain't nobody <laughs> taking those spots, for real. Yeah, because that's why he You got to come hard to take that spot. I don't care about your record sales. You have to have that whole package to make me believe that you was one of the greatest. Right. Jay yeah. ain't even coming near that. No, nah, he copied Big Style. You know, later on in my life, and Big don't copying. never repeat. They never repeat none of his. Wrong. Never remember all this shit. And I remember when we came here and we seen me on the seen him in Detroit. Man. He never looked seen. He was rapid. He was a true MC. Sitting and that's there. where Jada Kiss came from because he came up under Big. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And he yeah. taught them how to rap without using the words in the background. Like you ain't no real MC if you can't remember your words. Remember, you used to rock. He used to rock on the corner. Yeah. So. When he rocked on the corner, it wasn't no. It's a live performance, you know. I'm giving my, I'm getting the crowd, getting my block with them. Yeah, want. he was practicing. That Man, was just practice. That was just practice. He was <laughs> Allen Iverson, mm -hmm. you know. Then he was just practicing. What's practice? All right, man. Shout out to Biggie Smalls, man, and Shaquille O'Neal. Y'all need to check that album out again. The rain. Shaquille is one of the best basketball spitters in the game. I give it to him and Damian Lillard. Right him now. and that, but I like. I like though Definitely James damn. Harden. I like Harden too though. I like Harden. Y'all comment below. Tell Definitely us who y'all think though. is the best 
basketball rapper, you know. Basketball rapper. Shaquille O'Neal, Dame Lillard, or James Harden. Let us know what you think. Man. All right, on the sports news, man. Yesterday, the Golden State Warriors signed Steph Curry to a $250 million deal for four years. Wolverine, do you think the Warriors have a chance this year or they not coming out the West? Man, that's $62.5 million, though. Per year? Per year. Yeah, but do you think they're going to come out? I don't care. <laughs> that's a big ups to getting that bread. But now that you got to perform. But, dude, every time they get bread, they never perform up. Like, who has really lived up to the because contract after he got his besides first LeBron contract. James? That's the only one I can say that really lived up to them $100 million contract. Nobody, nobody. They give it to I David Rose. Agree. He gets busted Damien, up. Damien did. Yeah. Damien did. 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 Damien, the, the lizard, the lizard did because yeah, he made he Port, did. he revitalized Portland. So the mm. li, the lizard, I give it to him. But yeah, really nobody. Remember old boy from Memphis, Cooley. He Man. signed that big ass contract and didn't do much. He got injured the next week. That's how a lot of them are. They yeah, get the injured. Contract, they get injured because they be trying to go hard and prove for that contract right. instead of keeping that pace that it was already going. They got them right. there. They try to go a little bit they, harder. They always it seem like they always leave to go get the money. They, yeah, you know they always jump ship. Just like Schroeder just now, the Lakers offered him eighty million dollars. Now nobody else offered him more than five million. He got to sign with the Celtics now for five million. You know, like, come on, man. You could have just stayed. You would have got a ring. You would have been the point guard. Man, fuck you. Ain't necessarily said they're going to get a ring. He have a better competition. You just for... said they was going to get a ring with Westbrook. I ain't say that. Oh, uh, that's that was Till Low. I don't say no silly <laughs> shit like that. But, but, nah, but the contract too... situation, back to that, you know, he could have just stayed. I would have took it. Who going to give Shooter 80 million? Come on, man. That's why he had to sign for 80 five. million. 80 million for five years. Man, he ain't even worth that to me. And that's oh. why they got Westbrook. Yeah, because they traded him. Yeah. Because he didn't want to get that paper. That's he crazy. He want to fight for that man. paper. Like, they like, oh, what? Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to Boston. Go over here and sit in this cold Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Massachusetts is to sit over here in the cold. You don't like this warm weather. You don't like this $80 million. You don't like that. You like to be cold and only get five million a year. <laughs> he couldn't go back. He couldn't go back to that contract. And no, it's too late now too late. because and they're like, you're a five million dollar player, buddy. You you're a five pre- million. You didn't appreciate it yourself like that, dude. Yeah. You didn't appreciate it. You didn't depreciate yourself that quick, dude. Oh, man. Being greedy. That's why yep. I tell you about a lot of greedy people. They want more and more and more and more. Right. You mess around and meet. You you eating so much of the appetizers, you ain't even you recognize you got a steak coming. Yeah, you blew it. They gave that steak you to Westbrook. West, man, they gave that steak to West. Hey, <laughs> hey, Russ, hey, Westbrook eating good. He getting his middle meal yeah. well with a nice pink strip yeah, in the middle. I think it's well done at this time. No, he get a medium well. <laughs> Because he ain't going to have to do as much hard as he used to. Oh, he's going to play extra hard. He got something to prove. No. Nah. He got something to prove. He want to prove he's nah. a better player than LeBron. In his head, he think he is. You, that's just Westbrook, Westbrook we talking about. He has something to prove. He want to show wanna up. Win. He want to ring. He want to say it was because of him. Win. He want to say it's because of him. And if he ball hard and LeBron sit back and This ain't his first thing. situation he been with a... Uh, Three-headed monster. Yeah, he was young the first time. They blew it, man. The first time around. Mm. But all right, man, on to the shout-outs, man. I want to give a big shout-out to Ty, the CEO. Check that Street Heat Out song on my album, Goes Fight. She doing big things big down things. in Atlanta, man. Doing big. shows, man. Y'all got to check her out. Stream her music on Spotify. Ty, the CEO. Check her out. Bing. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to this channel. Right now. Make sure y'all stream Gun Rules Finest. Right Part now. Part 3, The Movement on Spotify, Tidal, Apple, YouTube Music, all the streaming sites. We're getting out of here. One love. Peace. Peace. And we're 19.